All right, not having it in the Game Caviar bedroom. And I want to talk about the Xbox One and Microsoft's recent reversal of the ever-restrictive DRM policies that were going to be implemented in the new upcoming Xbox One console that will be released later on this year. Look, as much as I dislike Microsoft and their uh, their ways about going or their practices and doing things, I do think that reversing the DRM is a smart idea. And it had to be done. Look, they got dragged through the mud. Everybody was was consistently making fun of them, doing hate videos, rants, whatever, all the blogs and all the, the major gaming sites were, were making, uh, what is it, they were making negative uh, stories about them. And they were all true. I mean, if there hadn't been such a negative reaction and Microsoft had of released the Xbox One with all those restrictive policies, they would have been, they, it would have been so bad to the consumer because you got to look at uh, PlayStation 4 and what Sony did and they don't have all those policies. So you, you step back and you say, what freedoms am I giving up by... Uh, allowing Microsoft to take away all of these rights from me what am I doing as a gamer you know is it is my freedom as a gamer more important or less important than uh, the needs of a company so I think that now with them reversing that uh, DRM policy that it, it almost levels the playing field of course PlayStation 4 will still cost less than Xbox One, but there are rumors that suggest that Microsoft may lower the price of the Xbox One. I don't think they're going to do it right or before launch, but uh, within the first year, six months to a year, uh, after the launch, they might uh, lower the price, which in fact, uh, Sony could turn around and do the same thing for the PlayStation 4. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Sony drops the price maybe another $20, $35, up to $50 on a PlayStation 4. But at the same time, I don't know how much they're making off each console that they're selling. So I don't know how that all plays into it. But you got to look at it. No matter how much you hate Xbox or love Sony, love the PlayStation, hate Microsoft... What Microsoft did was a smart move in this console war, which is really between the two new consoles, Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Uh, Nintendo has the Wii U, and I saw something the other day that just it, it showed that the, the Wii U is not selling good as compared to previous uh, Nintendo consoles. You know, the first Wii sold... And it was sold out all over the place, but the Wii U is not doing the uh, the same thing. So, uh, what what I think Nintendo could do is actually just release games. It's a game system. Put games out for it. Uh, be more aggressive in your advertising, and then you should rebound uh, some of that uh, you know loss that you have. And it's not going to. They can actually do it in conjunction with a. Uh, what is it a price drop on the console so you have a price drop even if it's temporary for the holidays a price drop aggressive advertising relief some big name games and then they'll be back in a fight too but this holiday season i do believe that's going to be between playstation 4 and xbox one of course and with microsoft uh, excuse me with microsoft uh, reversing and taking back the drm policies uh, it, it really makes the fight, it, it heats up the fight, so that's just my thought on it, I wanted to throw in my two cents, I'll have some gameplay videos up tomorrow, I sound really stuffy right now, I think I'm, it's like my allergies or something, but anyway, that's my thought on it, and let me know what you think of it, whether you're a, a diehard Sony fan or a diehard Xbox fan, let's have a discussion about it, I'm not having it in the game caviar bedroom, and I'm out.